Hello. Today I'm going to do a walkthrough of Kill Yourself. Um, obviously an app about killing yourself. I found it by accident while trying to find five minutes to kill yourself in that form. But obviously there's no such thing. So I ended up finding this and I was like, well I'm bored, I'll try it. Basically, it's a puzzle game in which you have to find out how to kill yourself in 18 different ways. I was able to find out all 18 ways in a day, but after reading some of the comments on the app, some people haven't been able to figure it out, so I thought I'd make a walkthrough video on how to do so. But here it goes. The first one I'm going to do is a guillotine. Basically, take the arrow cutter. Go in here to the bathroom, open the mirror, and take the duct tape. And you have to go into the bedroom, open this wardrobe, take the tools. And you're going to fashion um, a little a makeshift guillotine out of this window. You're going to go and look outside of it. You're going to use the crowbar on the window to keep it open. And again, you're going to go to the window. And you're going to look outside of it. I was pressing the wrong buttons there. And then you're going to grab the crowbar. And you're going to chop your head off. And every time you kill yourself, you have to restart the game and pick up everything again. This one's going to be basically the same thing, except instead of making a guillotine, you're just going to jump outside the window. For this one, you have to actually hit the walk button to go outside the window. It took me a while to figure that out. I kept pressing every other button except the walk button and you just jump outside the window next one we're going to go in here and grab the tools again which you use these quite a bit and you want to grab the bowling ball with the crowbar Again, we're going to go in here, grab the tools, and then we're going to raise this bed up and take the screwdriver and use it on the bed. It'll loosen the hinges, and you pull the bed down, and it crushes you. I'm just going to try to do this in order, just to make it a little bit easier. As you'll notice, these tools are used in about half of the deaths in this game, if not more. Also with this game, um, not everything can be done until other deaths are done. So for the I'm shocked one, you'll stand over here, I'll show you what happens. Um, this pot, you'll put it on your head, and anytime you try to move, he'll just take it off because he won't wear it. The only thing that it's used for is to get this bowling ball down without killing yourself. You put it on your head, use a crowbar, and take the bowling ball down. So we'll grab that, take it over here to the toilet, we're going to clog it. Then you click, whoops. You click on the back of the toilet, and you flush it. You open this up, take the screwdriver, and put it in the light socket.
during this game, once you do certain things, it affects the rest of the gameplay. So like that bowling ball, it'll never be back on top of the wardrobe. And for this one, you're going to hang yourself. I'll show you what happens. Most people will just think, oh, let's put the necktie up here, and we'll hang ourselves. We'll try that, and it'll snap, because it's not strong enough. And this will be the easiest way to kill yourself. You just go back and quit the game, and you die. That's the 18th one. People who get frustrated probably find that one the easiest. Uh, so many abs. So to avoid that necktie from breaking, you have to go over here to the drawer in the kitchen and get this uh, can, which we call Danish cookies, but there's a sewing kit inside of it. You take the sewing kit and you're gonna strengthen the necktie and then you'll use that to hang yourself. Oh, I forgot a step right there. I'll just show you a different way to kill yourself. I think there's three ways to die in this bathtub. The first one, you just take a bath. Then he'll say that we'll go anywhere without his clothes. So you go and put the clothes on. Try to put them back in your inventory. You press the um, grab button to put the clothes back on. And you try to take a step and you slip. You just die. Right. With the hanging yourself, it said that you're still too heavy even with that being um, strengthened. So to fix that, you go in the toilet and you take a crap. Then you said you feel, he feels way lighter now. Then you get back over here and put the necktie on the beam. And then you hang yourself. Right. This won't be the simplest way to kill yourself. You just pick up the book, and you start reading it. You have to read it like three or four times before it finally kills you. And you just pretty much get a paper cut. And the guy is either very hematomic or has a blood thinner. Or is taking blood thinners, but he just bleeds out. Start using these tools again. Um, I'm gonna take the bed sheets and put it on the crowbar, and it'll make a torch. You go under the stove and grab the cleaning products, drown it with alcohol. Go under the sofa and grab the lighter, and you'll set it on fire. Then you take the torch. And you'll burn both beams.
We're gonna grab these tools again. We use this crowbar on this loose plank to lift it up. And then you're just gonna grab the wasp nest. Or use the crowbar on the wasp nest. Again, you'll make a torch, um, but prior to doing that, you'll need to use a crowbar on the loose plank again, otherwise you can't undo um, once you make a product. you'll use the lit torch on the wasp nest. And this was one of the ones I saw people having the most trouble on, was actually the last one I found out myself. And it's called Burn Baby Burn. Pretty much a group of flaming wasps comes and kills you. I didn't even see what the next one was. We'll take the champagne bottle out of this fridge here. Go in here and grab the pills. You'll take this herb cutter. And you use this on the champagne bottle to open it up. I'll show you. Um, at first I tried to use it with alcohol. But he said he didn't like the taste in his mouth of alcohol. So then you just use the champagne on the sleeping pills and you kill yourself. When he had said that the first time, I thought the landlord might actually kill him. Um, but no, that was not a way to die. In the dresser over here, there's a gun. But under the sofa is the bullet. Um, if you click on the dresser, it gives you this long speech about his underwear. You use the small key from behind the toilet to open the drawer. You take the gun out. Um, you load the bullet into the gun. You grab this lighter because you need that. Go under here to the stove and you'll shoot the cylinder. Obviously the cylinder doesn't blow up so then you use the lighter on it. And it still won't blow up. But you do catch on fire. The next one, you'll get to the fridge, take the champagne and just put it in the microwave. One of the more simple ones. I got about three left, I think. For this one, you're going to plug the hair dryer into the AC socket. And fill the bathtub up. And 
good in it. And you're going to click on the power cord and pull it into the bathtub. So then you grab the cleaner products again, it's another bathtub death. You fill it up, put the drain cleaner in the bathtub, and then get in it. This one is another death by beads. Um, you just pull the crowbar, I mean, you pull the loose plank up with the crowbar and uh, afterward you just click on the loose plank and you walk into it and you get stuck with a nail. I think that's it. So that is all 18 ways to kill yourself in the Goo Games uh, Kill Yourself. Alright, thanks for watching.